Hi, I'm Machu Rudolph, Chief Operating Officer here at Layer 1X, and today I want to talk to you about Layer 1X, the features it delivers, and what makes it one of the most revolutionary blockchains in the space today. Layer 1X is built to solve some pretty big problems within blockchain, and really it delivers on four key features, those being decentralization, interoperability, security, and scalability. When you combine those four features into one platform, it makes for an extremely powerful platform for developers to build applications on and then leverage those features. Let me dive a little bit deeper into each of those features and how Layer 1X delivers on them. Firstly, decentralization. Decentralization is the transfer of decision-making and control from a central entity to a distributed network, taking away the single point of failure. With Layer 1X, we use a very unique consensus mechanism we call Proof of X which uses the traditional proof of stake model and adds in democratic validation through mobile enabled devices to be part of the validator pool. It means that there is potential for millions, potentially billions of devices within the validator pool that can participate in the validation process, helping to decentralize the process. On top of that, we use a cluster based node architecture, whereby we take the workload for validation and split that up into tasks. We then distribute those tasks to randomly selected nodes to form a cluster to then validate that information. The randomization happens in three parts. Firstly, the node selected for to be the initiator is randomly selected. Then the workload is split up into tasks and sent to randomly selected mobile enabled devices to then form a cluster to validate that information. Each of those, uh, Validator nodes or mobile enabled devices then seek out a randomly selected full node to perform the validation of the transaction information. Another component that helps decentralize the system is the fact that we break up the nodes workload into different roles. So there's three different roles that the nodes can take on. Those roles are event listener nodes operating with the crosstalk mechanism. We've got the full validator nodes and we've got signing and broadcasting nodes. By splitting up the workload and having three different node roles, it helps to decentralize the process and the system itself. So through the use of mobile, mobile enabled devices, having a massive amount of devices or participants within the validator pool, plus the breaking up of the workload into tasks, specific tasks, and then the randomization process, all of this compounds into the decentralization of the system itself. The second feature that Layer 1X delivers on is interoperability. Layer 1X has developed a unique and revolutionary technology we call Crosstalk. Crosstalk enables Layer 1X to connect to any chain, being public chain, EVM or non-EVM, private chain or hybrid chain. Once a chain is connected into Layer 1X and becomes part of the ecosystem of chains that Layer 1X is connected into, it allows that chain to be able to transfer assets between any of the chains within the ecosystem without the need for bridges. Xtalk provides the ability for Layer 1X to connect, as I said, to any chain. Currently, we're connected to Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Polygon, AVAX, Solana, Phantom, Arbitrum, and Optimism. These eight chains hold more than 80% of TVL across all blockchain. And in our roadmap in 2024, will also be connecting the Bitcoin network. Not only does Crosstalk allow for the transfer of assets without the need for bridges between any of the chains within the ecosystem of chains Layer 1X is connected to, but for the very first time, we enable the transfer of conditional messaging between smart contracts on different chains. It means now smart contracts can collaborate with each other before any capital is deployed which allows for the potential of a simplified user experience where the smart contracts will do all the work in the background for the cross-chain interactions. On top of that, it also increases the capital efficiency that Layer 1X can provide as well. What it means for a developer building an application on Layer 1X, it means that application is no, no longer restricted to just the users and capital within one chain. It means now an application built on Layer 1X has access to users and capital across multiple chains. In fact, any of the chains that Layer 1X is connected to, making it 
highly attractive for applications to build on Layer 1X and then access all those resources across multiple chains. The third feature that Layer 1X delivers on is security. There's a few different components that we put into the security of the system that helps make it a highly secure system. Firstly, we use flash code logic validation, which acts as a, a, almost like a proofreader uh, to be able to proofread a document before it's submitted. It allows us to actually ensure the correctness of the code within the system. Secondly, we use a form of AI called HTM or hierarchical temporal memory, which is a machine learning algorithm which allows us to spot bad acting nodes before they can do damage. Almost acts as a sheriff within the system, ensuring that each of the nodes are acting in a way that secures the system. Also, the cluster-based node architecture adds to the security as well. By the splitting up of the tasks within the workload and the randomization process, it takes away a central point of failure. It makes it harder for a hacker to try and manipulate the system, which adds to the security of the system itself. And also, as I mentioned before, Crosstalk is a level up from what Bridges currently can offer. Bridges are the main way currently that people will actually interact or exchange cross-chain. Bridges are highly vulnerable. In fact, billions of dollars to date have been hacked from Bridges. And one of the key concerns with Bridges is that you have to hand over custody in their transfer. With Crosstalk, the user or application using that technology does not have to hand over custody of those assets within the process, making it much more secure. And the fact that the system is decentralized, it also removes the need for trust that you don't have to trust a third party to handle that transaction for you. The fourth feature that Layer 1X delivers on is scalability. Now, as we launch Mainnet Beta, we already have the capacity to do 100,000 transactions per second. I also think it's worth noting that we have an upper bound or an upper limit on our gas fee. So any native transactions performed on the protocol have a limit of one cent maximum gas fee, which allows a massive amount of use cases to be able to now use blockchain where maybe the, the barrier to participation was the high transaction fees. On top of the scalability uh, components I've already mentioned, Crosstalk adds to scalability as well, where applications now are not restricted to the silo that they're in, in terms of the blockchain that they're actually built on, they now have access outside of that blockchain to any of the chains that Layer 1X is connected to, helping them scale more and scale quicker. On top of those components I've already mentioned, Layer 1X has also achieved something very special within blockchain. Our team has managed to take WebAssembly code, which cannot access system resources, and recompile that into eBPF, or the Enhanced Berkeley Packet Filter. eBPF allows us to access the system resources, meaning that there's potential for 10 to 20 times the speed of the performance of the system. So as you can see, Layer 1X delivering on decentralization, interoperability, security, and scalability makes for a extremely powerful platform and one of the most revolutionary blockchains in the space today. Not only that, is we're also developing our own wallet. That wallet will evolve to become a single interface where users can access blockchain itself and any of the chains that Layer 1X is connected to. And as we continue to build or will connect to more chains, that ecosystem will just become more robust and also it will help blockchain itself expand and scale. I hope you've enjoyed understanding a little bit more about Layer 1X. If you want to dive a little bit more deeper into that, please join our socials on either Discord, Twitter, Telegram, and learn more about Layer 1X and why it's such a revolutionary blockchain within the blockchain space.